Hey, Nathan, have you actually used the toilet over there? That one? No, I, I sat on it once, mm. and it was very cold. Okay. And it was startling to me because yeah. I expected it to be hot like everything else here. And so I, I got up and I peed out the window instead. Arise, arise, ye shattered vessels, ye broken pieces of what was once a corporeal form. For you have been called upon for which the cartoon times has arisen. Oh, hey, Managar. Hey, Managar. Hey, guys. Uh, I couldn't help but uh, over here. Uh, yeah, don't use that. Don't use that toilet. Uh, do you have an assignment for us this week? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, uh, here's an interesting request. I feel like this is kind of going to shape up the energy. One of our many uh, high-ranking Dark Lords has made a request of you for a new cartoon. Uh, this is Eslaf D. Eminon, mm. who, has, uh, who has requested, how about elderly assassins? Ooh. How about elderly assassins? Elderly assassins? Assassination, not just for young people anymore, you know? Yeah. I like that. This this feels like more of a sophisticated show. It sounds like I think it could be a cool show. We've, yeah. we've done a lot of silly shows. Mm-hmm. But um I I think it's time we try try and make something actually cool. You think this is like a, a mature show that would be on like a, a network that's trying to reinvent itself? Ooh, yeah, I like that. Like Discovery decides to put on elderly assassins or something like that. It feels kind of like in the vein of a like a French comic book or something. It's got like a really Ooh. sleek stylistic look to it and it's very morose and depressing because it's obviously about aging and and death, you know, the the eternal clock and its cruel hands, that sort of thing. I'm all about that. So I'm actually going to try and, and pose this out a little bit. Oh. Yeah, I, I just want to get like a cool assassin pose. But so you're going to do a, a good job. Well, <laughs> we've tried doing a bad job. I, yeah. I'm going to, I, I, I don't want to go so far as saying I'm doing a good job, but maybe a better job okay, than before. Yeah. Just crank it up about 20%. A medium job. Ooh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> so Caldwell... Uh, I'm drawing this assassin. Yeah. I'm thinking like a badass Gam Gam. Oh, or Mima. like a yeah, like a, a Guga or a um, uh, a, a, a Grim a Grima. A a, a booby. Yes, a um, a Grusma. <laughs> a Grusma. A, a grand a Grandel. A Grindel. Yes. A, gr a Grendel. <laughs> from Beowulf. Uh, from Be <laughs> Exactly. Uh, what did you call your grandma growing up, Nathan? I called her Grandma. Okay, it's so fun when you hear somebody talk about their, their grandparents for the first time, and the conversation will be going very normally, and then they'll whip out just the craziest word, and they'll say it as if it is the most normal thing they've ever said. Right, because uh, oftentimes people will have two sets of grandparents. Yeah. And so one of them is just grandma and grandpa, and then the other one's like Pop Pop and Dolores. I have a similar situation where I have, um, on one side it was just uh, granddaddy, Bet and Granddaddy, and then on the other side, it was Cadillac and Ray Babe. <laughs> I don't know if that's real. Cadillac and Ray Babe. I, I love the idea of this is like an assassin agency, and yeah. all, of the, uh, all of the assassins are grandparents, and they all have code names like that. Um, okay, they all have code names. Yeah, like Golgum and and and, and Poot Poot. Oh, so you're saying that their code names are their grandparent names? Maybe that's where they originated. Okay. Ah. Uh, oh shit. Because those names are untraceable. Yeah. Maybe this is an ancient order of grandparent assassins. Maybe they've been assassins this whole time. Yeah, that would make sense. They've got nothing. Like they're at the end of their life. They have so much experience. They understand how people work. Now, Nathan, how would they deal with um? the fact that their hips are going to be creaking and crackling. Oh, do you, maybe they get their hips replaced with a real super silent Teflon hip, so they're just oh, like yeah. fully infiltration mode. There's a lot of uh, cyber augmentation, I feel like, on this show. <laughs> uh, I hate to interrupt, but uh, yeah. I feel like you could introduce the high sci-fi concept of nanotechnology. Uh. <laughs> Boom! Managa uh. landing from the three-point line! Oh man, I love Metal Grandma Solid. <laughs> <laughs> tactical <laughs> cheek pinching action. You know, it's like the Vulcan neck pinch, but she pinches your cheek in such a way that it cuts off your nerves and you instantly pass out. 
What if she just left like a plate of poisoned cookies? She's so yeah. She's like, oh, you're so you're all skin and bones. Here, eat up. And then you are literally all skin and bones because you're fucking dead. Because you got got by the Golden Grandma Society. What would their what would yeah what would this agency be called? I mean, Golden Golden Grandma Society sounds pretty good. Yeah, like age before beauty sort of thing. I'm trying to think of something that's a play on Bridge Club. Oh, like Bridge to the Afterlife. Yeah, or like um, Assisted Killing. Assisted Killing is very good. Ooh, if that's not facility. already something, mm -hmm. it should be. So would it be like yeah, Assisted Killing Facility? So like AKF maybe. Mm-hmm. I mean maybe. That's the organization. Maybe the show is just named after this specific uh, grandma assassin. Yeah. Uh, while we're addressing issues over here, uh, yeah. Na Nathan, Na precious Nathan, why why is she wearing a fidget spinner tiara? <laughs> um, it's one of them them Tom Clancy looking eye eye things. It's the night vision goggles. Should they be half moons? Oh yeah, absolutely, a hundred percent half moon. <laughs> just to match by night vision bifocals. Yeah, yeah. Can you like make them? I almost feel like they should be more like telescoping, just to make up for her oh, okay. Uh, myopia. <laughs> okay, so she's we've got some like. She's like trying to eavesdrop on a conversation, but mm -hmm. like she's just using one of those old timey ear horns. All the technology that spies use to amplify their hearing and sight are just normal things that old people use all the time. <laughs> so like it, it makes perfect sense. Um, can I throw this name past y'all? Mm -hmm. Dial M for Mima. <laughs> <laughs> this, I really liked assisted killing. But All right. <laughs> that's the name of the agency. Okay, but Dial Maybe. M for Mima is the title of the show. Nathan, you got the pose down. You're doing good, but uh, I, I got to say, you're going to have to slap some gear on this agent of death and oatmeal raisin. And now let me add the finishing. Wait, 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 Caldwell, what? Caldwell, stop. There's a demonic voice in my head that's compelling me to tell you that if you want to see the rest of this episode, you got to go to dropout.tv and sign up. Oh. Now the voice in my head is telling me to slap you a bunch, Caldwell. I'm sorry, oh. it's what I, I'm being compelled. Ow. Check out dropout.tv. Do it. I'm asking the questions here. Question one, why didn't you call your gam gam last week? Huh? 